How much are the games? Quid each if you want that. Yeah. There's some more in here and all, I think. That's sweet. Let's have a look through. Yeah, great. Let's look out the side rather than. Wherever you want to run. So you can see what they are. Yeah. Tonight, you can't see. Yeah, that's the <laughs> thing. Last time, what, last week when we was here, it was uh, it was really bright. yeah bright, and it was uh, <laughs> as good as gold. Mm, you can't see nothing. I've got here one, two, three. I don't know if you want to count to be sure what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Uh, I don't know if I want that one. Twenty one, twenty two. Three. I'll leave that one. So what was that? Twenty three, did you say? Yeah, did you do it for twenty? Yeah, go on. Yeah. As as you bought them all. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it nice and easy that way. Okay. Morning. Morning, mate. How much are the games? Um, three quid each. Three quid each, yeah. Would you do two quid a game? Yeah. Cheers. That's just a... Well, how much is the game? Pound. Pound, yeah. Ten seconds later. Go on, I will, I will take that for a pound. So, who's taking <laughs> Thank you, cheers. Morning. Hello. How much are the games? Uh, two pounds. Two pounds. Can you just take a pound for that one? Yeah. yeah. Um, 
Morning. Future. 50p. Yeah. Morning. How Morning, much are the mate. games? 150 each. 150 each, yeah. Right, Mitch, how are you? Yeah, mate, how are you doing? You alright? Good, yeah, good, mate. Four pounds, mate. Four pounds for them, mate. Did you do three pounds pound each? Gone. Yeah. Uh. Morning, mate. How much are the games? Uh, yeah, two for a five or two for a five. Three pound each. Three pound each, yeah. No worries. <laughs> Take them two for a five, mate. Yeah, have two for a five, yeah? Yeah, cheers, mate. Jack, for five. <laughs> I was a cash, but <laughs> not, not expecting someone to say cash or card. We've got five a change. Uh, That's oh no, actually, so there you go. I've got oh, five. Cheers, bang it. Bang yeah. Yeah. Morning. How much is the guitar? Yeah, I'll take that for a pound. <laughs> so make sure it's, uh, Morning. How much are the games? Two pounds. Two pounds, yeah. You can take a pound for that one, would you? One pound for that one? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that is strange. the iPod, mate? Um, no, it's a five of that one, three quid for that one. There, a pound each. Pound each, yeah. Take that one, cheers, mate. Morning, mate. Morning, mate. Take a gamble for a quid, mate. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> there you go. That's Cheers, mate. Thank, thank you. And we are back, YouTube. For anyone who's returning, thank you. And for everyone who's new, welcome. I'm Mitch, and this is Retro Rummage. I'm the gamer channels buying games, DVDs, Blu rays, any electric items I get my hands on at car boot sales, Facebook Marketplace, or charity shops for a cheap price. So I'm getting handed into CX at a high price so I can build my gaming collection. So yes, back with a Easter Sunday a car boot sale pickup video. And as you can see, it was very, very game heavy. Uh, last week's video, um, I had lots of controllers, lots of electricals, all with high 
trading value, which is it's nice to get, but I do prefer picking games up as when you trade them into CEX, it's so much easier. You know, they haven't got to test them. They do it all there and then. And uh, yeah, you're in and out within, you know, half hour maximum. When I take a load of controllers, um, mice, anything like that, you know, sometimes depending on how busy the store is, you know, it's an hour and a half, two hours, and then you have to mooch about town and stuff like that. So um, yeah, much, much prefer to pick up all games. Um, although, you know, there isn't as much voucher uh, in games as there is electricals, obviously, but I do prefer it. So yes, I've um, got the first boot sale pickup videos here, and then the uh, second boot, uh, boot sale video. Sorry, the, the first boot sale pickups here, and then the second boot sale pickups behind them. Um, yeah, clocks went forward, so apologies, especially when I was picking all of this up. Um, I've, got, I've got to be using my torch again uh, for the next couple of weeks, it looks like, because... Um, it's it's dark again when I get there. So I know that the torch was blocking the view on some of this and I apologize, um, I, I forget that it's there, but obviously I'm I'm in the zone looking at the games and I completely forget that the camera's there sometimes. So, but yeah, really, really nice. Um, I think this was like, basically when I get to the boot sale, I'm not, I'm not there the first, obviously. Um, I normally head straight to the back where all of the new people are coming in. Um, and this guy literally just, grabbed out a box and as you saw from the footage I said how much a game and he said a pound each so I knew I was uh, on to a winner then. Some of them are a semi-fail in the sense that I normally like to triple my money um, but when I started pulling out games that I knew were worth 10, 12, 13 pound uh, voucher stuff like that you know I was being a bit more what's the word um, yeah a bit more carefree on on what games I was grabbing most of well not most of these but a lot of these will be for my own collection that's another great thing um since I bought my PlayStation 3 uh I'm, I'm able to pick up games for my own collection every week um I would definitely recommend if you were, if you were like me before and you know you was purely retro retro although I think PlayStation 3 is kind of classed as retro now because it's, it's over 20 years old is that how it works I don't know but um yeah, if you was only retro, I would definitely recommend probably getting either a PlayStation 3 or an Xbox 360 because I think they're the, the consoles to collect for at the moment in the sense of picking games up for yourself, for your own collection at car boots and stuff like that. It does really make the difference in you know making the hunt more exciting and yeah, just making you want to get out there. So without further ado anyway, we'll start going over these games. So first one uh, is actually a sealed game. Um, Just Dance 2016. Now, I don't think there's too much um, value in that in terms of voucher. I think it's like £1.80, £2, something like that. But, obviously, brand new and sealed. It is an official PlayStation 3 sealed there. I'll get a tenner for that on eBay easily. Um, so that'll be half my money back there. Um, this one will be for my collection. This is Ratchet and Clank Nexus. All of these are in good condition with the manual as well. Well, pretty much anyway, I believe. Anyway, we'll, we'll find out as we go through them. I did, that was one thing as well. Where I was uh, so excited, I didn't actually check the discs. I just uh, paid him and walked off. But they're, they're all in pretty good condition. But yeah, I think that's like a £20 game. If I wanted to trade that in, it's like £13 voucher. Um, another Ratchet and Clank one, Tools of Destruction. This one is trading in for, um, I think, 3 or £4, something like that. But yeah, again, I'll be keeping that. Another one for the collection, the Simpsons game, nice and complete. Uh, that's trading in for £12 now, I believe. Spider-Man 3, another classic. That tra is trading in for like 10 to 12 to £13 again as well. So, you know, I think some of those were like the first games I, I pulled out. So I thought, you know, after that, I kind of knew my, my money was safe and I was just grabbing... Uh, games at will <laughs> but yeah Ridge Racer Unbounded this is a game that I won't be keeping um, I'm not really into racing games if I'm being honest uh, or car games in general but that's trading in for five pounds this was one of the semi fouls uh, skate I've got skate free um, yeah I think this only trades in for like one pound 40 something like that don't know whether to keep it or not um, but if not one pound 40 there uh, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen this one doesn't have the manual um, and again, I believe this one's only trading in for like two pounds. There are some Transformer games on the PlayStation 3 that uh, are trading in for good money, but unfortunately that's not one of them. Uh, Need for Speed Rivals, I think that's trading in for like one pound eighty, two pound as well. 
Sonic Riders. I may keep this. I'm in two minds at the moment. I'll give it a go. Obviously, it's, it's not a racing game per se. I think it's more like a, a Sonic Mario Kart. Um, I think it's trading in for like £2, something like that. But um, yeah, if not, I'll, I'll keep it. But I don't know. We'll see. This is one that I will be keeping. I think this is the last uh, Ratchet and Clank that I need on the PlayStation 2. Uh, lock and loaded. I think this is trading in for like a fiver. Um, but yeah, like I say, nice and complete. Most of these games are. So um, another one for the collection there. I'm shocked that I don't have this yet. I thought I did. When I grabbed it, I'm, I was like, have I got that? I can't. I can't remember, I know it doesn't trade in for too much, I think two or three pounds, something like that. But again, in nice condition with the manual, so I don't have it. That one will be going in the collection. Uh, Scooby-Doo, Night of 100 Frights. That's trading for two pounds, I believe. Gran Turismo 4. Uh, that's trading, I think that's trading for like two pound 50 or something. That's gone up recently. Um, so yeah, not an, another good one there. Another sealed one, um, Farpoint VR, I believe this one is. But it's not got too much value. Um, I think new and sealed, maybe five pound, if if that. But you know, hopefully from the two sealed games, I'll get most of my money back, um, and the rest will just be yeah, free voucher. Then I think these are all the PlayStation Four games as well. So we've got Gran Turismo, uh, the Real Driving Simulator. I think that's trading for a fiver. Uh, Final Fantasy, what is that, 14? Um, I think that's training for like three or four pound as well. Worms Battlegrounds, may keep this, I'm not too sure. Um, I think it's training for like a five or something like that. Uh, Need for Speed, that's trading in for eight pound, I believe. And then Zero, uh, sorry, Horizon Zero Dawn, I think that's trading for like three pound. Uh, Uncharted 4. I think that's only trading in for two pounds, something like that. It's not not one of the uh, the more expensive uh, Uncharted ones. Call of Duty Black Ops Four. I think that's trading for like three or four pounds. And then this is a game I actually want: uh, Je Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Um, but can can you let me know? Is there much difference between obviously playing the PlayStation Four version of this and the PlayStation Five? Um, I'm not too sure. I know there are some games where they do like a PlayStation 5 update and stuff like that. So I'm not too sure as to keep this and play it or trade it in and put it towards getting the uh, PlayStation 5 version. The PlayStation 5 version is not too expensive. I think it's about £18 voucher. And I think this I'm getting like 6 to £8 voucher for as well. And obviously I'll have um, plenty of voucher uh, left over. So so let me know in the comments. What, what's, what's worthwhile doing? Is it worth keeping that and just playing it on that or should I get the PlayStation 5 version but yeah <laughs> as you can see we've got a leaning tower of uh, games over there for tw £20 as well so £23 um, uh, sorry 23 games that I paid £20 for so an absolute bargain um, yeah I think if I wanted to trade all of those in I think it's about £94 voucher something like that Obviously, the more expensive ones I will be keeping. Um, hopefully, get some cash back for the sealed games, and then the rest will hopefully be pretty much free voucher. Um, and then, yeah, more PlayStation 2 games from the second stall. Uh, it, again, these are in pretty good condition. I mean, I don't know if you could, apart from on this one, it did have Luke Shepard uh, written there. So Luke definitely looked after his games, um, but I've cleaned that off with a bit of uh, acetone, ibuprofen, whatever it's called. But this has gone up now. It's trading in for £10. Um, Bratz Rock Angels, for some reason, this is trading in for £4 as well. There's another one which I think is like Bratz Diamond or something, which trades in for like £7 or £8. And then, yeah, Canis Canem Edit, the bully game. I've actually swapped this with my one because... Uh, the one, sorry, this is my old one, but this one was better in better condition. So, And this one's trading in for £4 as well. So... Uh, I paid £2 a game there, £6, and I think it's trading for £18, so exactly where I like to be, tripling my money. Um, and then, yeah, this was a nice one. Obviously, Zero Dark, uh, sorry, per Zero Dark, that's the film. Perfect Z uh, Dark Zero, the original, or the normal copy of this, I think only trades in for like 50p or something like that. But this is the Steelbook version. Um, it's in pretty good condition, to be honest, and oh, it's complete with all, like, all of the extra bits in there. Obviously got the two discs. Um, 
Yeah, so I don't know whether to... I mean, I paid 50p for that. It trades in for £3. I may have a look on eBay, see what solds are like, if it's worthwhile getting uh, selling on there. But, yeah, really nice one to pick up for 50p. Um, best not put anything on there. <laughs> It'll fall over. Uh, this this seems to be like the, the bread and butter staple of the uh, uh, of the channel at the moment. Just Dance free on the Wii. Um, again, paying a pound for that. And it's trading in for £3. And then yes, FIFA 22 um, on the PlayStation 4. For some reason, this has still got a nice bit of uh, trading value. Now, I thought it might have been because, oh, is this the last FIFA that they've released? But no, the FIFA 23, um, you can, I mean, FIFA 23 is the last FIFA in total, but I thought was it the last one that they've released on the PlayStation 4, but I still believe, believe that they're releasing the new ones on the PlayStation 4. But yeah, on the, on the PlayStation 4, this one trades in for £4, but then the PlayStation 5 version only trades in for like £1 something. So I'm not too sure why there's a higher price on this one. Let me know in the comments. But yeah, you've got to, you have got to pay attention to what FIFA's are worth money because um, obviously a lot of people still believe that they're not. And you do tend to find people slipping on these. There's another one uh, which I've got from the second boot sale, um, which I'll go over in a minute as well. So yeah, all in all, very, very good boot sale. Um, what did I spend? 20 uh, six, seven, eight, yeah, £28.50, hopefully be getting, you know, well, well over £110, £120 voucher. If I was to trade it all in, obviously I'm keeping some of those games. Um, and then, yes, second car boot. <laughs> this uh, this car boot does make me laugh. I mean, the, the first pickups that I got was these ones. Um, I don't know if you can see on, on the footage, like basically it gets to nine o'clock. They say, everyone go. And I could see that there was these um, Xbox games on this table and I was kind of you know double timing it towards it uh, overtaking someone so I don't know if you caught that in the video but um, yeah got these three games Minecraft uh, story mode the Tomb Raider Rise of oh sorry Rise of Tomb Raider and then Plants v Zombie Battle for Neighbourhood uh, sorry Neighbourville um, and there was a copy I don't know why I didn't pick it up to me there was a copy of I think Black Ops 3 or 4 um, Steelbook but I picked these three up. Um, he said £1.50 each. I said we'd say a pound each. He said yes, £1 each. Um, and they are trading in for £3 each. So exactly where I like to be. Uh, second pickups, pretty good ones as well, to be fair. Um, now, I realised on the first boots I went to, someone had a stack of OG Xbox games. And to be honest, I don't know too much about them. Obviously, just because something means that it's trading in for good on the PlayStation 2 uh, doesn't mean that it trades in well on the OG Xbox and vice versa. So um, I do tend to you know, scan these games a bit more, look at them and see, see what their value is because, um, yeah, like I said, I don't know much about uh, the OG Xbox. But one thing I have noticed is there is a lot of games where the trading is absolutely terrible for them. I mean, obviously on the PlayStation 2, the, the trading's not fantastic either, but there was loads of games when I was going through these where CX is selling them for six quid and then their only trading value, for sorry, for voucher as well, is like 60p. And I'm thinking, what, what's the reason for that? Maybe they hang around for ages, but um, that's one thing I need to do. I need to learn more about OG Xbox because I'm wasting my time having to scan games or looking the price up on the CEX app because I just don't know uh, anything about them. But these two were good. One, very, very good. Um, Dead or Alive Ultimate. I believe this is Dead or Alive 2 Ultimate. Um, but yeah, it comes with two discs, so pay attention to that. Disc 1, Disc 2. Nice and complete with the manual. That one's trading in for maybe four or five pounds, something like that. And then this one's a good one, Call of Cthulhu, if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, CEX are selling this for 20 pounds and they'll give you a 13 pound voucher for it. So I paid a fiver for both of them and I think they're trading in for 17 or 18 pounds. So yeah, nice little return on that. <laughs> yeah, this was probably pick up of the day to be fair. Um, I mean, when, I've, when I first gr grabbed it, I didn't, Realised it was the Aerosmith version. I just thought it was like the Guitar Hero 5 um, version, which still the Wii version of that on its own trades in for like £12. But um, yeah, obviously I asked how much they said. Pound, yes please. Um, obviously the good thing about the Wii um, Guitar Heroes is that there's very little chance of battery corrosion because obviously you just put the Wii controller in there and it um, controls it from that. The only thing you've got to check is 
the bit at the end there just to make sure there's no rust and it's it's all okay. This one um, looks fine to me. The only thing I would say is, I don't know if you can see there, but obviously there are some scratches on the front of it. So whether or not they'd knock it back for that, I don't know. But this guitar on the Wii is trading in for like 21 pound voucher. So yeah, one pound there into 21 pound. Really happy with that. So yeah, don't sleep on the old Guitar Hero guitars. And then yeah, this, is another example of you know paying attention, knowing what we go uh, so which FIFA games are worth what because FIFA 15 on the Wii, um, this was towards the end as well, and it was just sitting there with a load of other games. Paid a pound for that, trade still trading in for three pound. I believe it's probably one of the later ones on the Wii, um, if not the latest. Let me know in the comments uh, if there's one after this because I will keep an eye out for it. But yeah, cool one to get. And then, yeah, another FIFA 22, which I paid a pound for. Um, again, trading for like three or four pounds. Um, and then, yeah, this was a, oh, sorry, this is T uh, Turtle Beach Recon 50PX. Now, when I originally collect, uh, bought it, it had an, a, an extender on it. Like, um, I, don't, I don't know what the, uh, the term is for it, but it was like a female to male, so obviously you can have a longer cable on it. I don't know what someone was using this for, whether they was using it just to listen to music on. It didn't have um, the microphone with it either, but that is the good thing about getting fails is that you have spare parts to swap them out because I do have a couple of these in my garage, which um, well, I think it's either you know, one or of the years doesn't work. But on this occasion, um, they both work. Obviously added that to it. I think these are, I paid a pound for it, and these are trading in for like 10 to 12 pounds, something like that. So another good one to grab. And then, yeah, this was the, the last pickup of the day. I don't actually think I've got it on um, on camera, but basically it's Black Ops 2 case, um, but with Black Ops 3 inside it. Um, but are there two discs for X, uh, Black Ops 3 on the Xbox 360? Because it says game disc, so I'm assuming there may be an install disc or something like that. Um, but I paid a pound for it. Obviously, I'm happy to get a Black Ops 2 uh, case whenever I can because I do tend to uh, find a lot of disc-only copies of this, you know, when you get folders of discs and stuff like that. So, because um, that's still a, a good one to look out for, for trade value. But yes, very, very game-heavy um, pickups today. As I said, I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, let me know if there was anything that I missed um, in any of the bundles that I was going through. I'm sure that there was probably one or two in that box that um, I, I probably could have grabbed. Um, but yeah, still interested in people sending me over some um, game room of the week videos. If you've got a game room or man cave that you'd like to show off, please hit me up on Instagram. But take care, everyone, and I'll see you all in the next one.